Paul, could you tell me why are you doing this today? I'm doing to recognize the flight crews of 9-11. The heroics that they, uh, on September 11th, they stood up to terrorism as the first first responders of 9-11 and were never recognized. And it's understandable why they weren't because of the enormity of that day. You know, after, after the aircrafts went down, heroes arose, firemen, policemen, everybody else, and everybody forgot what went on on those airplanes, which was heroic, knowing that they weren't going to be saved. Are you a flight attendant? Next flight attendant. Okay, so uh, we know it's coming up soon. Uh, the 20th anniversary is coming up on September 11th of 2021. Oh, absolutely! It's the 20th anniversary. It's just—it's a perfect storm that I'm—that uh, I turned my life around. I fell into an opiate addiction after 9/11. Almost took my life, and I'm, I'm so grateful. I'll be six years clean September 11th when I come into Ground Zero. So, yeah, this is this this has been uh, years in the making, and uh, I'm just grateful I was able to to come out of where I was, the darkness, and to be able to do this. And uh, so it's long overdue. We all know it as Americans. We all know it. These guys are heroes. People people just didn't talk about it. You know, I mean, we've all been on airplanes. We know what it's like to sit on an airplane. And can, uh, when you think about really what went on, the gruesomeness of what went on on them planes at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we know the fl phone calls from these flight crews. You know, their pilots are dead. Flight attendants are dead. And they're still on the phones telling tell us on the ground. It's just unbelievable. You know, policemen, firemen as first responders, when they're in trouble, they radio for help, they know help's coming. As flight attendants, when we're up there, we know there's no fire truck coming or police coming to help us. We gotta utilize what we have on the airplane. And that's what they did. They utilized passengers, they utilized boiling hot water. They did a lot of things to save the people on them aircrafts, aircrafts because of the terror that was going on. Could you tell me what's your destination? Ground Zero, New York. I'll be there on September 11th, absolutely, no matter what. How can people track your journey? Uh, you can go on the website and you can click on the website. There's a, a thing on the website that will be, tell you, uh, it's a Facebook account, Paulie's Push, and an Instagram account, Paulie's Push, and uh, Paulie'sPush.com, and uh, P-A-U-L-I-E-S.com. And you go on that website and there's a, a, something you click on and it'll have you put your phone number in, put your phone number in, and when we turn the GPS on, and it'll send you a signal that I'm moving. And then you, go, you can see me on the map where I am. People are tracking me down everywhere. They're coming from all over the state, really. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's phenomenal, it really is. This is amazing. What Paulie's doing um, is bringing back memories uh, of the fact that they were the initial responders to 9-11, um, plane attendants, um, you know, were, were, were really not recognized um, at that time. Um, and they were the first ones to find out, you know, what was going on. They were the first ones to comfort people. So Paulie is, is really letting people know this is what it's all about. So it's an amazing challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to thank uh, my friend Kevin Stevens, the hockey player, his sister, and their foundation is really what helped me put this really together. I was going to do it by myself, but they said, no, no, we'll help you. When, and Kelly, Kelly Wilson is a project coordinator for this whole thing, and she put it all together. Their foundation is PowerForward25.com, and they help people in recovery get housing or whatever. So, so it's a, the whole thing is just, it's turned into a great, you know, a lot of people being helped by it. My focus is just to get these guys recognized. That's all I care about, and that's the number one thing for me. And everything else is, is a gift, you know.